Hey kids, just a quick little video here to help you understand how to simplify fractions. This is for not just fifth grade, but basically third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, even sixth, uh, if you need to be able to simplify fractions quickly and you're not that great with your calculating yet. Um, very simply stated, we're going to break it into three categories. I have these simple rules. I mean, I've been teaching 22 years and in third grade when I taught that for nine years, I noticed that there were patterns in the problems. And so I have, okay, rule one, kids, look for what I call doubles. Basically, a double is gonna be anything that has the number on top that is doubled on the bottom. One of these, two on the bottom. Not just with one and two, but Look here, if I have one, two, then two twos would be four. One, three, but two threes are six. One, four, but two fours are eight. When it has this structure, these are all equivalent to one half. And you can just simplify in one step. You can just look at it and say, this is equal to a half. Because when one of these makes two of these on the bottom, mathematically, the top number is the divisor. So that's how you can simplify quickly and get one half. So all these things that I call doubles are equivalent to one half. It's a one step change and you just do it. Rule two, even numbers are all divisible by two. Let's say you don't know your math facts. Again, you're learning them, but you're still not there. Remember that two evenly can be counted and go into all the numbers that end with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And so any number that is even can be div divided by 2. So 2 is the divisor. Let's start with 4 twentieths. Okay, if I divide 4 by 2, I get 2. If I divide 20 by 2, I get 10. Now this is a situation where 2 and 10 are still even. So you can keep going. If you take this 2 and you divide by 2, and take the 10 and divide by two. Two divided by two is one, and 10 divided by two is five. This is the simplest form of what we started with. Now, once you get to the lowest form, typically it'll have like a one on the top, or they'll be like one digit apart, and that's how you can tell like that's a good place to stop. But sometimes you'll have really big numbers and you go, well, gosh, I don't really know any factors that would go into these and because I'm still only in, you know, the primary grades. And so if I have something like 34 58, what you really want to look for are the last digits. Four and eight are both even. So just start simplifying by dividing by two. And who knows, maybe you'll get a lower number that you can see a factor and divide with. Now that'll come in rule three. So dividing 34 by two, you get 17. 58 by two, you get 29. You have these weird prime numbers and you know that's the simplest form. So sometimes you can simplify in one step. So the patterns go in the early grades. You'll look for these things called doubles. They're all equal to a half. Look for fractions where the numbers are even and then just start dividing by two. The sooner you learn your math facts, the sooner you're gonna get to rule three, which applies to everything. You need to find a common divisor. A find, finding a common divisor means knowing your facts and what would be the greatest number that would evenly divide into both. Let's take that 4 20ths again. If I recognize that instead of using two, I could use four as a divisor, four is the greatest common factor. Greatest means it's the biggest number. Common means it works for both. And factor means something that I can multiply to get that number when I'm done. So four is the greatest common factor. So instead of using two, if I divide four by four, I get one. And instead of using two here, I have to use four on the bottom because what you use on the bottom, you use on the top and vice versa. 20 divided by four is five. And look, I got my equivalent fraction in one step instead of two steps. From here to here, okay, to here, that takes a little bit of work. But if you find out or recognize that there's a bigger number, you can simplify in one step. Here's another one. They're both even. If I use two, 
I would end up with six tenths, which is not my simplest form yet. But if you see that you can divide both 12 and 20 by four, it's a greater number. It's the, it's the greatest. It's a greater number than two. And so you wanna find the greatest number right off the bat. If you do it right from the beginning, you can simplify in one step. 12 twentieths is equivalent to three fifths. Here's another one, both even. I could use two, but if I use six, six is the greatest common factor. So six eighteenths is equal to one third. And again, what you wanna do is you wanna look at how many times this top number can go into the bottom number evenly if they are connected, okay? Six eighteenths, if I used three instead, I would not get my simplest form. I would then have to divide again to get my simplest form, which is equivalent to what I started with. So basically those are my three rules for simplifying. To, to really make it easy for the young kids, rule one, look for those doubles. If it's doubled from the top to the bottom, it's equal to half. Rule two, all the even numbers are divisible by two. Start dividing by two until you can't go any lower. And then, or till another factor comes up and then you can divide by something else. Rule three, find a common divisor. Really, ideally, the greatest common factor. And if you can do that, you can divide in one step and simplify in just one step. So I hope this is helpful, just kind of a bonus video. Very important, we're doing a lot of simplifying now. So quick subscribe, come back again for all the Eureka Math videos and some other fun stuff that we're doing. But uh, I hope this is helpful. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.